A popular topic over the past few years in South Africa is the possibility of independence of the Western Cape. In the studio today we are privileged to have Dr. Peter Hammond, founder of the Reformation Society, who has pioneered Christian missions in the war zones of Mozambique and Angola in the 1980s, and in the war zones of Sudan since 1995. He has authored 40 books and manuals, and Dr. Hammond is a specialist on the topic of independence. Dr. Hammond, is it possible for the Western Cape to gain independence? Yes, it most certainly is possible for the Western Cape to gain independence. There's a tremendous rise of self-determination and nationalism and a resistance to politics as usual, globalism and centralization, as evidenced by the stunning Brexit votes in Great Britain, the Trump revolution in America, which shocked many people, the rise of national parties rejecting the EU, such as the Freedom Party in Austria and uh, the Marine Le Pen's uh, Freedom National in uh, the Front National in France, doubling their votes every time they go to the elections. Bear in mind that some of the most successful countries in the world are products of secession. The United States seceded from Great Britain in 1776. Finland seceded from Russia in 1917. Mexico, after all, uh, also seceded uh, from uh, Spain. And uh, we've got every in recent times Latvia, Lithuania, Estonia, Croatia, Slovenia, Czech and Slovakia. South Sudan in 2011, I was heavily involved in that. Eritrea from Ethiopia, East Timor. So we've got many examples. Switzerland itself, one of the greatest countries in the world, a perfect example of freedom and decentralization. Singapore secede from Malaysia, uh, Pakistan from India, uh, Ireland from Great Britain 1922. So we have got a tremendous example in history that secession movements reflecting the will of the people for decentralization and autonomy and self-determination as respected by the United Nations Declaration of Human Rights and also by our own constitution. Self-determination is definitely a possibility. Dr. Hammond, what happens when we have enough support for independence? We need a referendum. We must go this way by either voting for political parties that support self-determination and are independence-minded. We need to move to a position where we have sufficient support to demand a referendum. If they will not give us this referendum in a open way, then we can organize it as citizens. The point is we all have a vote, we all have a voice, we all have friends, influence, neighbors, we can choose what to do with our funds, we can choose on many levels in order to mobilize and show that we're a community that can run our own affairs better than central government. Once we ticked all the boxes and the government in the province and or the country refused to give us permission for a referendum, Dr. Hammond, what are our options? We can see from many other successful independence movements that even when, for example, the Soviet Union would not give independence to Latvia, Lithuania and Estonia, they organized themselves, they were organized down to the municipal level, which is the basic building block of any society. We need to see these examples of excellence where they started to run their own affairs and showed that they were in charge and they, they used the media as well. We need to use media, social media, all of our networks, both no local and international, in order to get a major support base where people see it is right, the mother city and the oldest province in the country has a heritage going back centuries and we can run our own affairs better than central government and they're failing on so many levels. So it's a matter of success on the local level. We need to stand up, we need to speak out, we need to step out. It's better to light a candle than to curse the darkness. This is what was the symbol of the Leipzig prayer meeting and the movement that brought up down the Berlin Wall and the Iron Curtain and freedom to Eastern Europe. The people have the symbol of a candle. Not all the darkness can put out the smallest light. We can turn the tide, we can be part of the solution. We don't need to go down with the Titanic. We can launch out in our own independent Cape exit.